have free will and you allow us to make our own choices, which is such a loving thing to do. I really love you, God. You know me in every shape and form. Yeah, because this is a video, you know, I want to look all nice and presentable. Um, you saw me before I was presentable, God. You saw me and you loved me in my ugly. You loved me, loved me in my worst. And even though you're my friend and I'm walking with you, I remember how I was before I came to know you, Jesus. And I wasn't the greatest person. I lived for myself and I just did what other people persuaded me to do. I didn't live for you. And more than anything, I want to live for you, God. I want to live for you. Whether if that's just marching around Jericho and trusting that you will do what you want to do. If that's what you call me to do, that's what I want to do. And so, I love you. <laughs> and I trust you. And I give it all to you. That I can't carry the evil, wicked sins of this world, but you can. You carried it on the cross. You carried it on the cross, and that just blows my mind, Jesus, that you shed your blood for every sinner, for the entire world. That no matter what wicked sin someone has done in private that you have seen, that you shed your grace and your mercy over them. The ones that I want to throw in prison and my heart wants to become bitter at, you are a God of grace and mercy. You are a God that forgives. And that just blows my mind that the most wickedest people on this earth that do the most wickedest things like sex traffic children and pay off people to do evil, evil deeds, you will forgive them if they call on your son. And that just blows my mind, the grace you have for our world. That blows my mind. Ones that would deserve wrath, the wrath of God, you took the wrath of God upon yourself, upon your son. You took the wrath of God upon your son for everyone. Not just me, but everyone, that you love everyone. And that's why I love you, God. That's why I love you so much is because you love the people that I can find it hard to love. You love them and you reach out your hand to them and you say, I love you. And even if they choose to turn away, you still say, I love you. And you give them the choice to love you back. It's not a demanding relationship. It's not a demanding marriage to be in a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's just an invitation. And it's never, you never force yourself on us. And that's what I love about you more. You're patient and you're kind. You're patient and you're kind with us. You've been patient and kind with your church. Your patience is beautiful. Your patience teaches me how I can love deeper and wider and more gently and kind. That I can pray for the wicked, hoping that they come to know you. Hoping that the wicked don't continue to put their hope in money. I can pray to you, and just like you've answered so many people's prayers in the scriptures, I can say I trust you. That if I pray in your name's sake for the Son to be glorified, you will answer that prayer. Because that's what you say in your word. That's what you say, and I want to believe in your word. I want to believe in you, that you are good. Because I've seen you rescue me out of the pit. I've seen you rescue me out of the pit. The darkest pits that I never could imagine being rescued from, you reached down and you grabbed me up. And so, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, God. 
I don't love you, Facebook. I don't love you, social media. I don't love you likes on social media. I don't love you news articles. I don't love you, Mr. President. I love you, God. I love you, God, for giving me breath in my lungs, for giving me hands to serve, for giving me a heart to be open to love people. That you've given me a choice of how I want to choose to live in this life. And so I love you, and I love you that you go before me and you fight my battles and I can choose to just be still. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, God. I love you, I love you, I love you, God. May it May you open up our eyes to see more in this moment. And may we be filled up with the overwhelming joy of your presence and the relationship we have with you. When no one else is watching, we can talk with you and walk with you and have the most beautiful relationship imaginable. Because you're with us. <sighs> Thanks for making me cry, God. Thanks for making me cry. Seriously. Oh, hopefully there's not like a bunch of mascara all over my face. And it wasn't such a bad ugly cry. Like it was like a probably okay ugly cry, like not super ugly. <laughs> I love you, God. <laughs>